data on children and diabetes is frightening. We're seeing now adult onset diabetes in children. Thousand percent increase in the last decade. We're seeing practices of endocrinology in pediatrics that are almost filled with children diabetics. We've never seen that before. I never thought I'd be operating on anybody who was younger than 60 or 70. And now at the ripe young age of 25, she needed me to crack open her chest and do open heart surgery. I do have a family history of diabetes and that is like a big part of my family that I really want to change. The absolute, absolute heart and soul of this program uh, is the coordinator. I am inspired every day by my interaction with these young people. They are so extraordinary. When Sarah joined us in Health Corps this fall, uh, the cooking really picked up. So we're in an ideal situation to encourage the students to eat. So now we're trying to figure out what are the barriers, why aren't they eating. We started grab and go lunch to encourage kids to eat because going downstairs is enough of a barrier that they would decide not to eat. Basically there's sandwiches and a milk and a piece of fruit in a bag and I walk all around the hallways with this cart giving out food to the kids. I'm very lucky to have Sarah because I don't think anyone else has really taught us look, you're eating bad food. You want to think creatively as to how you can get kids to eat the right thing. Health Corps is looking at a broad range of alternatives about how to get children to eat right that doesn't just involve taking something away or taxing it. We're searching for the rainbow, all right? And I don't mean Skittles. We're looking for <laughs> fresh produce, all right? So what did you guys make in Teen Iron Chef? Burritos, like tacos. Or the no. quesadillas, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. With spinach, and you guys liked it, right? Mm -hmm. So you guys will eat spinach if it's... If, if it's with cheese. If it's with cheese. <laughs> we conducted our first study and it showed that we significantly increased physical activity in the kids and we significantly decreased soda consumption. We also significantly increased their health awareness. Kale soup, oh, I, I didn't want it at first. I didn't want to try it. It smelled horrible, you know, but it was very good. Then I actually had like seconds and thirds. I hated drinking water, so I really like drinking water now, especially seeing the amount of sugar that are in the drink. I've actually lost 10 pounds, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> well, I think the fact that we're in 50 schools now it just blows me away. And when you talk to these kids and you see what kind of an impact it's had on their lives and the lives of their communities. We're so incredibly grateful to the folks who have stepped up in such a big way uh, to help us fulfill our purpose of bringing vitality back to American youth.